This is a direction finding receiver that was used during World War II and it is the Navy model DAG-1 got the manual sitting back here and um, it came in this case uh, batteries on the bottom receiver on the top there's a schematic inside and on top is uh, carrying handle latches and uh, this is where the uh, loop antenna protrudes through the top uh, the receiver is a super heterodyne receiver it has uh, two IF stages and uh, oscillator RF amp and input and uh, the antenna input consists of the loop here and it's directional and then it has a sense antenna here that uh, provides uh, the the other signal so that we can phase uh, the two and determine the direction the pattern is a cartiloid pattern as I understand here's a, a nomenclature tag uh, that uh, CIA 46174 is the model for the receiver along part of the DAG-1. So uh, it's got an audio amplifier in it and it's... <laughs> Every nook and cranny with Hannity is stuck. Uh, Alright, Dory, appreciate it. So this is 1660. It covers uh, 1500 kilohertz. Uh, goes up to 18.1 and in three bands. So it does not cover the entire AM broadcast band. It does have a BFO. So you could copy code on it. It's got a phone jack. Your uh, lamps up there. And uh, your band switch. And this is for your antenna. This right here position uh, gives you the maximum sensitivity. And it doesn't provide any directional uh, capability and this is your balance position for um, peaking up or, or nulling your signal and so anyway that station that we're listening to is very strong positive impact on my life and of course I'm talking about my and it's pillow. about uh, maybe faster, and now four or five miles away pillow. something I'm like that and what you do you set your you phasing control to the center and you adjust your antenna and you get 40 off turn this my pillow premiums and your and antenna rotates and you want to know the best you can and then adjust the phasing Turn your gain up. Premium pillows and two go anywhere pillows for forty percent off, and that means and once those pillows arrive, you start getting the kind of back and forth until you get. So now we're left with just a little garbly noise. This environment here is very poor for this because there is so much metal, but still, we're able to determine the direction, and it is that way. You can see the antenna here. It is in the plane of the, uh, the loop, so it's like that. And, that's, uh, and that is correct. That's the way it is, south of us. Uh, so, you can, um, of course, when you switch over to antenna position, that shoots the signal directly into the RF amplifier and bypasses all the balancing circuits, so it's much more sensitive. So, you can go up to band 2, which is uh, 3.6 to 8. 80 meter handband.
Let's see if we can pick him up on the loop. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Oh, he was gnawed out. So <laughs> That out. I can gnaw him out completely there. It's called an AEA Applied Electronic Applications model number LA30. And as far as I know, I don't know if they ever made any more amplifiers other than this one. But I've, all the reviews that I've got on it, I just inadvertently and actually. Let's see. We can go up to band three. And uh, let's get off of the loop. Let's see. Here we go. WWV at 10 megahertz. You can see right there, right on the money. Pretty close, anyway. Let's go right above that. It's certainly not short on sensitivity. It's a pretty good receiver. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching.